Question 18. This graph shows how the temperature changed in Liam's room one afternoon. Well, first of all, we've got temperature up the side, and the temperatures appear to be going up in fives, but there are five mini gaps between each lot of five. So five degrees shared by five, five degrees divided by five gaps means each gap must be worth one degree. So we must be going up in one, so it must go 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Try the same thing along the bottom. We've got each gap is an hour, but then there are four, one, two, three, four mini gaps. So if you take one hour and divide it by four gaps, well, divide it by four is half it and half it again. So an hour halved is half an hour and halved again is 15 minutes. So each gap must be worth 15 minutes. So to the first gap would be 115, to the second gap 130, to the third gap 145, and then up to two o'clock. Now let's see what we've actually got to do. So it says, estimate the temperature at 315 p.m. Well, this line here is 3 p.m. So we've already said here that every time we go up a gap, we go up 15 minutes. So if this one is 3 p.m., this line must be 3 p.m. So we need to draw a line straight up from 3 p.m. to the graph there. And then we need to draw another line straight across from the graph make it so it meets there so straight up from 315 and straight across and we need to know what this number is here so if this is 20 this will be 21 22 23 24 so you can see it's between 22 and 23 so that's going to be 22.5 it does say estimate and I'm saying my answer is 22.5, but because it's an estimate, they'll probably accept any answer from 22 to 23. Second part of the question, estimate the time when the temperature was highest. Well, if we get a straight line again, this time we'll do it in green. So, when the temperature was highest, that's when it's at the top of the graph. So is the temperature going up, 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 right at the top of the graph, that's when it's highest. So all we need to do is draw a line down from when it's highest and see if we can try and use that line to estimate the temperature. Well, sorry, estimate the time when the temperature was at the highest. So if that's the highest temperature, estimate the time. Well, every gap is worth 15 minutes. So if this is 3 p.m., this would have been 2.45. So you can see it's between 2.45 and 3 p.m. They wouldn't accept 2.45 because that's it obviously can't be 2.45 because it's not on this line. So it's got to be bigger than 2.45 and it's less than halfway between 2.45 and 3 p.m. Halfway between those two would be seven and a half minutes. So 2.52, 2.53 p.m. So they'll probably let you have anything from 2.46 to 2.52 p.m. And any number in between there. So if you had 2.50 p.m., that would be correct. The final question. How much did the temperature change from 2 p.m. to 2.30 p.m.? Well, we're looking for 2 p.m. and 2.30 p.m. So 2 p.m. is here, so go up to the temperature, and then from there, draw another line across. So that was the temperature at 2 p.m., and this is 15, 16, 17, so this is going to be 16.5 degrees. And now we need to do exactly the same for 2.30 p.m. So if this is 2, 215, 230, so 230 is here, go up to the graph and then draw a line across. 
so we're looking for this change from this temperature which is 16.5 to this temperature which is about 21.5 so from 16.5 to 21.5 let's go back down so at 2 p.m. it was 16.5 2 30 p.m. it was 21.5 so what is the gap what is the difference if you can't do that in your head you could do a quick column method to find the difference 21.5 subtract 16.5 5 subtract 5 is 0 1 subtract 6 you can't do so borrow 1 11 subtract 6 is 5 and 1 subtract 1 is nothing put your decimal point in you should realize that, that is 5 degrees so it's about 5 degrees